My old thing coming to New York was, let's not do the original cooking, you know, let's root it in, you know, French cooking techniques, but let's use the world, you know, let's really do global cooking. Where could I find this? Where would I have the most ch chances of finding stuff that could give me a way to express my, my, my visions and my food? And Chinatown is one of those places. Jackson Heights is one of those places. Korean town is one of those places. You know, finding the Ethiopian community is one of those, you know. Giving you an edge as a chef, giving you differences. Well, I think any community, any, especially any ethnic community, is just, you gotta approve yourself. They're not gonna go and embrace and welcome you right away. And so that's, you know, it's, it's a learning curve. They have to learn you, know you, you have to learn, you know, get to know them, which is fine, you know. It's, but I, I, I travel all over for food, where there's Mercato in, in Ethiopia, which is just a, a whole city with different food, or it's Chinatown, New York City, or the fish market in Sydney or in Japan, or just a fish market in my hometown in Sweden. So ethnic markets are always very much, why are you here, why do you want it, are you gonna come back, give me cash. Uh, there's, no, there's no sense of, I'll pay you tomorrow. But it's good, it's honest, it's brutally honest. No, I'm not buying that. And then the argument and the combining the price, you know? Whole Foods, you gotta, if it's $1.99, you can't argue the price. You know, which is pretty different way of shopping. Like, in any street market, you would, it's a hustle. What's cool in Chinatown is that you can find anything. Anything from the, you know, like, fish to meat. Everything is there, like tamarind juice, for example. Calamansi juice. You know, rose water, which is a very difficult flavor, and they have that here. Ketchup manis, Indonesian. The salted duck eggs. Duck sausage. And then they're having like mayo. So it gives you the balance of getting ethnic stuff and regular stuff. One thing why I like it so much, because it reminds me also about Africa, it reminds me of the, the you know, the, the third world a lot. Like this, and that's why it's unique. You know, America is such a uh, big country and have, you know, so much stuff, but it still has very grassroots things, just like street vendors. So it becomes this intersection between incredible tall buildings and rich people, and then you have the grassroots street vendors. But it's a different type of energy. You know, if you're on, in midtown Manhattan, there's not a big difference between 56th Street to 57th Street. Once you pass Canal, you are in a different world. Same thing, once you go into Harlem, you're in a different world. You go to Jackson Heights, you gotta do what they do. You know, it's just very cool. You, you have to embrace that culture. And that's part of traveling, that's part of, 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 of being a you know, citizen of the world, you know, which, is, which I like, which is cool.